Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've been getting a few questions about blow drying recently, so I thought I'd make a quick video and show you exactly what I do. So the first thing is I get everything ready. I'm using my wide tooth comb and the Dyson Supersonic hair dryer. It's really lightweight because most of the weight is based in the handle and I use it on a medium heat and a low fan setting. I'm currently loving the Mizani Therma Smooth range. I've just washed my hair with the shampoo and conditioner and now I'm going to use the Smooth Guard as my heat protectant for blow drying. So let's get to it. So I always wash my hair in four sections. I then twist each section and pin it down ready for blow drying or styling. And this is my hair texture when it's wet. I do get a considerable amount of shrinkage and you can see that my curl pattern is kind of between 4B and 4C. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to demonstrate my technique on different parts of my hair, but my process is exactly the same for each area. And the first thing I do is divide the section into two smaller parts so that it's easier for me to blow dry. When I'm blow drying, I alternate between two different techniques. So one is to stretch the hair by pulling it downwards towards the end, holding that hair with one hand and using a blow dryer over the whole section. And the other thing I do is to use my fingers to take a few strands at a time, stretching them out as much as possible and passing the blow dryer over it at the same time. This just means that my hair gets stretched while it's blow dried and it doesn't dry in a shrunken state. Because I'm using a low fan, I can bring the blow dryer right up to my hair without worrying about any heat damage and I'm not burning my fingers because it doesn't get too hot either. So I literally repeat this all over my hair and when I'm doing the middle section, I pull my hair upwards away from my scalp. So my method essentially does use some tension but I definitely do find that this gives me less breakage. Firstly because I'm using my hands so any areas where my scalp is tender I can control how taut I pull my hair. And secondly I don't get any mechanical breakage because I'm not using tools like a paddle brush, a pick or even a round brush which tend to just snag my hair and pull it in all directions which causes me unnecessary breakage. But saying that, just to clarify, I'm not against using tools and of course there is a time and place for it but just to maintain my length, this is my method for a more regular basis after washing my hair. So when I'm not on a photo shoot or looking for a sleeker finish, this is how I blow dry my hair to reduce breakage. So back to talking about what I'm doing. So the ends of my hair do get dry faster than the roots so sometimes I will take a comb and just detangle about halfway down the length just to make sure there's no extra knots. And then I just continue to blow dry a bit more because I could feel that near my scalp my hair was still a bit damp. So I'd say my hair is roughly about 50% dry at this stage and I notice that it is increasing in length and it starts to look a bit more stretched out and this is the point where I add the product. So I'll take a few pumps of the Therma Smooth Smooth Guard and apply that to the whole section. I've noticed that people have different names for adding product like the praying hands method but whatever way I make sure that my strands are adequately covered in the smoothing serum and then I comb it through to make sure it's evenly distributed. I prefer to use a wide tooth comb and gently detangle starting from the ends of my hair and working along the length towards my scalp. I then repeat exactly the same process, pulling my hair taut with one hand and blow drying with the other hand and I do this until my hair is 100% dry. And finally if need be then I will split that section again into two and blow dry from the middle outwards just to make sure my roots are completely dry otherwise I will get shrinkage right at the bottom. I also have to add that the reason my hair does blow dry easily is down to the products I'm using as well. So the three step Mizani system is helping to shield my hair from heat damage and the blow drying process is actually a lot easier. I think it's because the ceramides and polymers give my hair a nice glide and polish for a good finish. So once I finish blow drying two sections of hair that are next to each other, I put my hair back into quarters by just doing a two strand of twist down the length of my hair to the end. I then form a bantu knot or use a bobby pin to hold my hair down closer to my root and I'll leave my hair to cool for about 15 minutes or if I blow dry my hair at night then I just go to sleep with it in these sections. 
So once I've undone the twist you can see I do have a slight kink which is also from the Bantu knots but this doesn't bother me too much as I still need to comb through the section of my hair anyway. Also Bantu knots are another method of heat free stretching so especially if I leave my hair in them longer I will get a smoother effect from the blowout. So this is the last step of my blow drying process. I just have to unravel the other sections and I have my blowout look. And of course I can check the back of my hair just to make sure if I put my hair in a bun it does look smooth at the back as well. And this is the final look for my afro, it is light and fluffy and it's not weighed down by product. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video.